Hey guys, it's Amber from the Happy Caravan. And we are going on a grocery haul today. We are going to Trader nice. Joe's and we're going to Costco. And um, you, where did you go already today? Uh, shop fair, fair shop. Yeah. I, I don't know. But this places. is New York City, so it's not like a normal grocery haul where you just show up in the parking lot and there's like a spot for you. Um, while there are some parking lots, but you have to pay for them. Are you coming with? Yeah, he's coming with us. And then also um, Trader Joe's, there is no parking lot. And so you have to like find parking. And if you idle, what's, what do you get? Like a $2,000 fine? $2,000 ticket. $2,000 yeah. ticket. So lots of yeah. Them. So this is a different um, sort of shopping experience. <laughs> so first of all, in New York, not a lot of people have a family of 12. So that's an added complication of our family. And also, um, I think a lot of people do probably grocery delivery or they have like a smaller family so they might go on the subway and maybe go to the store and then come home and just you know get a few things or they might live really close to like a Trader Joe's or something and get everything from the Trader Joe's so our situation obviously having 12 kids is more complicated because I'm sorry, not 12 kids, <laughs> family of 12, 10 kids. <laughs> Having yeah, 10 kids, yourself. yeah. <laughs> Having 10 kids makes it more complicated because obviously we're not gonna be able to put all that stuff in a cart and just you know head home on the subway. Or I guess other people do probably Ubers or whatever. But that's also expensive and I do not think all of our groceries could fit in an Uber. So here we go. <laughs> We have a few people hanging out, oh, a couple people, a couple of kids. So we have Elijah and Baby Mo <laughs> and Mark. And this is um, the car we drive is a 15 passenger van. I don't know, what kind of car is it? It's a Chevy Express 3500. Chevy Express 3500. And the reason we cool have this car is it has 15 passengers, obviously 15 seats in it, which is great. And then in addition to that, it also pulls our 30 foot trailer because it has enough like torque to tow 10,000 pounds. Um, but it is a bit of a problem finding a parking spot for this van. So um, I love this space and we can fit like a lot of groceries in here and this and that, but parking, what do you think, Mark? Uh, well. I don't know. It's it's somewhat difficult, but if there's it's a spot, hard, but he is good at parking, so it's not that bad. Usually, there's room. That Central Park, so pretty. It's like what is it? Nine thirty? Nine thirty-five. Yeah. So New York is definitely awake, but kind of chill. <laughs> well, rush hours already happened. Rush hours already happened, so yeah. So we're just like in the chill, the chill moment of New York City. This guy could be leaving here. Okay, so this is Columbus Avenue, and this is where we have to start trying to find parking for our Trader Joe's. Sometimes we find it, sometimes we don't. There. Okay, so there's our. It's hard to see. <laughs> there's our Trader Joe's under the scaffolding over there. Here's our Trader Joe's. Yes. Oh, we got the perfect spot. Oh wow! Did we really this we found is the best spot. so we found a parking spot amazingly right away. So God blessed us. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> so this is how you park in New York. You have to um, do the pay app or something, right? And you're paying for your how much you have to pay for your parking space here? Uh, it's six dollars something cents for the time we need. So you got to find the right zone. Uh, oh, okay. Two six five. <laughs> the, guy, the guy just opened his door into our bumper. It's just like normal around here. <laughs> so 625 for an hour and 20 minutes. So 625. So we have to pay 625 to park here at Trader Joe's and then we're also going to have to pay oh, $6 at Costco. So it's expensive to park here. But you know, it's cheaper than grocery delivery, that's for sure. 
The other thing is, I'm gonna try and film in Trader Joe's. I'm probably gonna have to use my phone because um, I have to look kind of incognito because technically, I think you're not supposed to film in Trader Joe's, but I think as long as we're not like distracting other shoppers, they'll probably be cool with it. <laughs> Peppers, no. Yeah. <laughs> you poor guy. <laughs> Do they not have russets? It's funny, you seem like they would have russets. Well, there's russets. There's a big bag. Do you want to get a big bag of russets? Little ones? Okay. Garlic. Christmas. Christmas items. <laughs> it's kind of cool, actually. Twelve Days of Beauty. I wonder. I wonder if it works. Moses <laughs> <laughs> really wants to touch these bell peppers. Some basil for pasta. Oh, we have basil outside. It's hoping it didn't freeze because it's cold outside. Um, we're getting a sweet onion for hamburgers, just so they're not so spicy. Salad dressing. <laughs> they look kind of good. The only bread. Some meats. A box of soup. What is it? Oh, whole wheat couscous. Okay. Yeah. What did you get, Mo? Hand pies. Uh -oh. I think you really wanted that. No, go find something that's not going to make a mess in the car. You can get that for your treat, but I don't want him eating that in the car because that's going to be a total no, mess. It's fine. It's fine. Not yet. We're gonna need basmati um, when we have Indian meals, but we do need white rice. Looking at the spices, Cuban style citrusy garlic. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> uh, I want mustard for like um, for hamburgers. So basically, regular mustard. But we need, oh, we need red wine vinegar too. Red wine vinegar. You know what? Probably get him some like cereal or something. Like, oh, or freeze dried, um, freeze dried fruit might not be so messy. But you need to give it to him. I don't want him eating it himself because he'll make a mess in the car. Some apples. Some apples. <laughs> Almond milk. Eggnog. Eggnog for Christmas. <laughs> Oh, you happy with your apples? Did you get some free shade apples? You can try those later. Yeah. <laughs> Nuts about rosemary mix. That's looking pretty good. We found a secret stash of ciabatta bread, so we're getting those. <laughs> I 
their room or parts. <laughs> Chocolate. <laughs> you helping me, Mo? What did you find? You found like advent, advent calendar. calendar. The problem is there's ten kids. Who's gonna open the chocolate and eat it? Right. <laughs> you can get it. Chips yeah, let's. Get those. What, what do you get? You can get those if you want. Um. Whatever you want. Maybe these are good. These are good. They have less salt and sodium. So two potato chips. Elijah's getting his advent calendar. I thought I'd be ready. Oh, yeah, whole wheat tortillas. Four bags of corn chips. Like just hold them with your hands, is that the whole thing? Oh Moses, you're gonna just destroy those buns, aren't you? Sliced cheddar for cheese burgers. Black of Parmesan. Just over you. Thank you. So we take, they had to unlock our cart and we're taking our cart across the street. Yeah. <laughs> and that's where we're parked. Amazingly, I don't know how we got across the street parking. That's pretty amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. Is that amazing, Mo? Yes. <laughs> and we've decorated our van with composers and stuff. Okay, so now we got to put all the groceries away. Take 
Then Mark's gonna wheel the cart across the street and give it back to Trader Joe's. <laughs> Back in the car. So that was an adventure. Um, we're done with Trader Joe's and we're going to go to Costco next. I hope it works out. So Elijah got Mo some freeze dried apples. Is he enjoying them? Like it? Are you enjoying your freeze dried apples, Mo? Yeah? You said he was freaked out at first. He was really not used to freeze dried. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, through New York City to Costco. Our Costco is in Harlem. And we drop off groceries. Oh, yeah, drop off groceries before so they get cold, stay cold. <laughs> Back through Central Park or next to Central Park. People are walking their dogs. This is the west side of New York, Upper West Side. Look at that beautiful view and those trees. It's November, so the leaves are turning, and it is cold today. So we're back home. We're parked in front of um, our house. The reason we get to park in front of our house is because there's a, usually there's no parking on the street. There's a fire hydrant right in front of our house, and you're not allowed to park in front of the fire hydrant, or you'll get a ticket. But we just parked there very briefly to offload our groceries, and our house is like right in front of the, right behind the fire hydrant, so. It's just, it's nice. <laughs> the other tricky thing is trying to get out of your out of your car without like a big truck like driving into you. <laughs> Opening the car, hoping that nothing falls out at me. <laughs> ah, there they are, our beautiful groceries. Now the tricky thing is putting these all away. We only, we do not have a garage. We do not have a basement. We only have. The, the house, which is, I mean, it's a blessing. It's a pretty big house for New York City, but we don't have extra fridges or really a lot of extra cupboard space. We're actually using a lot of our cupboard space we're using to store our homeschool materials and books. So <laughs> yeah, it's a little tricky. Okay, off we go into the house. There we go. Hey, um, Elijah. I need help because so thankfully while we're gone we have adult kids that are able to watch the kids for us super bless big blessing oh you guys are doing some drawing oh what are you making a spider web nice so here we are putting the groceries away um, we have one fridge and a lot of our cupboards are filled with homeschool items so we have to be very thoughtful about how we put things away. So now we've loaded all of our Trader Joe's stuff and we are off to Costco. Through Harlem, off to Costco. Oh, Mo, we'll be there soon. Funky bus over there, I don't know what that is. Here is the parking garage for Costco. It's almost like the airport, except for it's for Costco. It's a shopping mall. <laughs> it's a shopping mall, I guess. And we have to pay, how much do we have to pay, Mark? Six dollars. Six dollars to park at Costco. Unless it takes us longer. Oh, how long does it, how long does six dollars give you? Uh, I don't know the exact time, maybe an hour. Okay, so six dollars buys you an hour. <laughs> this is in East Harlem. New York City. Look at the river down there. What river is that? That's the, uh, uh, that's that's the Harlem River. The Harlem River, okay. This is so swirly. We keep going around and around in swirls. Man, I feel like I'm, gonna, <laughs> I feel like I'm on a roller coaster ride. <laughs> that river is so beautiful. Wow. Okay, so we want to get at Target. Um, the, we'll go to Target. Fr fr the fruit. Uh, yeah, to get the fruit and whatever else we couldn't find at the other stores. Okay. Um, 
And then, uh, and then we're doing Costco. So first we're going to Target and then we're gonna go to Costco. This is a parking lot in the mall, basically. It's the, Elijah told me, it's the East River Plaza. I knew that. So we're just going to get our baskets. That was funny. Okay, impulse buy. I think Anna and Chloe definitely need these sweater sweater vests. <laughs> these are the things Mark does not buy when I'm not coming. Oh my goodness! Create your own ice castle playhouse kit. No, that's so cool. All those Christmas feels. Merry Christmas to me. So we're actually at Target for food that we just cannot find anywhere else. Because they do not have buttermilk here. I'll have to, I'll have to go get it at Shopfair. Uh, okay. This is the only place I can find good mixed smoothie fruit. And they also didn't have like cherries at Trader Joe's. So I'm gonna get them here. Thanks, Mark. Oh, he's sticking him in the bag. Is it okay you're sticking him in the bag? You just pay for it at the end? Okay. <laughs> put cherries in my breakfast smoothie and I don't think I can live without them. That's all I got. That's all I got. We, we bought a lot of cherries. <laughs> Do they have the mixed fruit? Oh, they have dragon fruit. Oh, man. Isn't dragon fruit good? I don't know. Passion fruit tropical blend. Man, I didn't know they had all this fruit here. Get, oh, get some mixed fruit blend. That's good for the smoothies. And then, I don't know, impulse buy a passion fruit tropical blend. <laughs> the one on the bottom. Oh, well, they have diced avocado. I don't know what that's for. Give you guacamole. And another treat. Wait, there's so little in there. Oh my goodness. I don't think I can do that for $5.39. It's okay, I already got my passion fruit tropical one. I'll get that one next time. We all appreciate that. There's holiday cereal, apple pie, toast crunch, Christmas crunch with a Christmas sweater. <gasps> Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer cereal. What? No. And Can rainbow. We get this? You want to get that? That's so cool. No, wait, There's elf on the shelf. But but mama, we can't eat it until after Thanksgiving. Oh. Do that. You can have it. Come on, Christmas only comes once a year. You have to like enjoy it while I it's know, here. But... Come on, it's Rudolph cereal. We need two for our giant family. It's fun. Come on, you have to enjoy the Christmas season for like two months. Sorry, just just all there is to it. <laughs> 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 yeah, we all eat that in one day. But for snack, not for breakfast. That's not very healthy. It's a Rudolph Rice crispy. Happy shopper. Good shopping though. Look at you. How much were the sweater vests? 18. Each? Yeah. Oh my goodness. What? I hope they like them. Okay, so the total is 82.33. Hey, put all that back. You're doing some shopping down there. You like your mama? In full spire. <laughs> so I decided actually to take back the sweater vests because I just felt like they're going to be too big on the girls. And then I'll push them to shop for you. I'm still shopping for the perfect girl sweater vest. Are we going to Costco now or are we going back to the car? Oh, that's some like cool uh, parking garage art right there. Okay, so we're putting our Target items away, and 
now we're going to Costco. Costco or bust. We saw this sticker, like most musicians, you're following the bass player. It's funny. I think what that means is oftentimes as a musician, you have to follow the person that is the lowest, playing the lowest instrument because they're kind of the percussion. And so like since you're following his car, he plays bass, it's you're following him. So I think that's the double entendre there. <laughs> patiently waiting for me. Down the escalator. Oh, the escalator's not working. Oh my goodness, I have to like walk on the escalator? That feels so weird. That's our size of cart right there. I have to get the garbage out of the cart. <laughs> or something for me. good snacks. Okay, I'm not getting these, but oh my goodness, sweet potato crinkles. Those look like pretty good. <laughs> Got some uh, chicken broth. Oh, mm -hmm. the joy of free samples. Shoot <laughs> mm, waffles. Mm. Here, give some to Mo. <laughs> You like that, no? It's a waffle. <laughs> oh, no, right on the floor. <laughs> it's okay, five second roll, you can eat it. <laughs> All in your mouth? Is that good? No. Yum. Mm. And we need an umbrella. It is so rainy in New York. Ketchup by the gallon. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, getting some more black beans. We eat a lot of burritos. Getting some Kirkland salsa. Getting some Parmesan cheese. Josiah eats this like it's going out of style on pretty much almost everything. Yeah, just like the regular granola. Right there. Regular granola. Oh, okay. Um, I think we need a maple syrup, Mark. Okay, put that on the list. All of the rest just that. our orange juice in there. We have orange juice on Saturday when the kids, so the kids go to Juilliard, some of them stay home. It's always a busy day, so we have easy lunch on Saturday. Some coffee. Do you get like one of those a week? What's that? Do you get like one of those a week? No, every two weeks. Every two weeks, okay. Getting, I think we're getting two things of ground beef. We're having hamburgers and we're also having um, tostadas. Bakery and they had mufaletta sandwiches. Just having a little free sample of some yogurt. And it cost $7.99 one bite. 
We have a sample of some yogurt. Is it good? Uh -huh. Oh, yum. <laughs> That's the good stuff. You like the yogurt sample, Mo? Costco's the best. Oh, we're getting some non fat yogurt here. Put the yogurt in our smoothies. Getting some lemons. And I think we're getting to get some apples, some green apples and some regular apples too. I'm trying to pick through the apples and find ones that don't have any bad spots. <laughs> Okay, so we found some apples that we hope are good. Just one romaine. Yeah. Because we have some leftover from last week. Great for solids. Okay, so we're getting two of those. Aw. Little cucumbers. Those are actually really cute. <laughs> Just getting two pomegranate juice. These are great for smoothies and lots of healthiness. Mo was very unhappy in the front of the cart, so now he's in the middle of the cart. <laughs> we need a lot of cheddar cheese. Just put the cheese in there. On everything. <laughs> Daddy's going into the freezing milk department and getting us some milk. <laughs> the European cookies looking good, huh? There's our milk. Sometimes we actually drink more than six gallons of milk a week, which is amazing. Kids always like milk with their cookies and stuff. Okay, so Mo got booted out of the cart. There's not room for him and the milk in the cart. <laughs> One more milk. That's six milks in total. We're getting frozen strawberries. Do they have frozen blueberries too? Oh, so sorry. Sorry. Baby wipes. We always need baby wipes. Not just for the baby, but to clean <laughs> clean up everything. Not gonna get this, but oh man, these are looking good. Oh, chocolate. Kinda wonder. <laughs> Did you find a little spot? Oh, you're not enjoying your little spot. You need a nap. You need a nap, Mo. Mommy, mommy holds you. Now you're happy, huh, Mo? Poor little boy. You happy now? You got your mama? <laughs> oh, you want the phone too? You can't have it all. Oh, no, no. <laughs> oh, man. 
Here's Jerry. Full wheat bread, good snack. Paper plates. Room in the cart for paper plates because we're kind of out of room. Oh, yeah, you don't want to smash the fruit. We're kind of out of room. Yeah, you don't want to smash the fruit. And some tissue paper. Go through that and probably about two weeks. <laughs> His family of 12, you know. And we're all home all day. Well, most of us are home. Some water bottles. So we're going to stand in line. Walmart and it goes and gets some water bottles. We can go shopping. The waiting in line. That's cool, huh? Voila, the water bottles. <laughs> this is our final cart. It is full and that we'll eat pretty much use all of that in a week. Except for the toilet paper. Survive, Mo. Did we survive? I think we survived. <laughs> He's rolling. He's rolling. Into the elevator. This is the only Costco I've ever been to that has an elevator. Have you ever been to another Costco that has an elevator? Costco has an I've never been to a Costco San Francisco. Elevator. Oh. Okay, so just maybe big cities haven't. Okay. Speed on. Oh. Oh no, we had a milk go overboard. If you want a box, then we have to deal with all the boxes. So we just bring our trader, our old Trader Joe's bags, and we fill them up with Costco stuff, so we don't have to deal with giant boxes. This is only for some of the stuff. Yeah, I just for like the stuff like chicken and stuff. And the view from this parking lot is just pretty stellar. I, mean, I guess this is Mark has pretty much done a Tetris job of filling up the back of the van. Hopefully nothing falls out. <laughs> Losing the van. And we got these water bottles and the wipes we're gonna put in the middle of the van. Okay, Mark's leaving without me, so I better get back in the van. <laughs> so we're going back down this like roller coaster-esque exit here. <laughs> Very twirly. There's the exit. See how much they charge us. Six dollars. Okay. Is it usually six dollars? Parked on our street. I'm not quite sure what's going on with that. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna drop off our Costco stuff. So we're gonna drop off our Costco stuff and then Mark's gonna park, which is always a huge challenge around here. We're home again, home again, jig, jig, jig. and um, we're gonna put our Costco stuff away. Thank you for joining us on our grocery haul.